Bulls for the 46th time, his 94th match as captain. Well, in all, of, in all the drama here at Loftus Fasfeld, the team sheets, there they are very quickly. Just one change in that of the Chiefs. It's Richard Gowie who comes back in place effectively of the injured Sitabani Sivivatu. It is Dwayne Sweeney who moves from centre to wing in a team that really is well balanced. Well, the Bulls one change too. Vayner Dulafia comes back. Jakub Pretorius dons the number 13 shirt this evening and that is, of course, at the expense of Marius Delport. Good to have Vayner Dulafia back in a rock solid and very steady, confident Bulls team. Quickly looking at the benches there, the Bulls bench, very experienced. Pedro Vandenberg will get his 98th cap this evening. And for the Chiefs, loads of talent there to look out for the likes of Hika Elliott and Toby Lynn. Jonathan Kaplan takes charge of his third Super Rugby final, having blown the whistle in the 2005-2006 finals. His 66th Super Rugby match, a huge occasion for him as well. Craig Jubeir and Corbus Vessels will be the assistant referees. Johan Mjermason is in the TMO's box. Mornay staying the man of the moment who kicked the Bulls into this final, gets the 2009 Super 14 final underway. Immediately a corner on Nugani up to try and claim the kickoff, but just going forward off him, and he will have the first scrum. A little bit of miscommunication perhaps from the Chiefs early on. Is it maybe a little bit of early nerves, not quite settled yet. Up high when Kevin O'Neill, the timing not good. Nugani was very good on the chase as he is usually, just not managing to collect cleanly, but good start for the Bulls nonetheless. A little bit of a finger problem I think it is there for Nugani. Chiefs a little bit heavier, we don't often see the Bulls out wide, they have been on numerous occasions this year. And straight away, the Bulls conceding the free kick, giving the Chiefs a chance to clear from their 22. Stephen Donald has a big boot on him, but opting not to kick for touch, they're going to test Zane Kirshner early on. Solid as a rock under the high ball, he'll put it up for Nungani to chase. He's brought down now. Tokido was up there to contest. Early nerves from both sides, the handling not as good as it might be. Donald will look to use the advantage to counter-attack. This is Kahui. Now Lawaki, who didn't exactly endear himself to the Loftus faithful on the Chiefs' last visit here. Kirchner will probe for territory. They'll want to play inside the Chiefs' side. And that's a perfectly judged kick. He will have had his heart in his mouth. Donald wants to get things underway quickly. Farida Prayer gathers the kick from Mills Muliaina. He's been in imperious form in the last few weeks, especially on the break, has Farida Prayer. Kokida takes it up. Keen. Stain. Quickly through the hands to Pierce East. One of the new darlings of Loftus. A good tackle from Callum Bruce in the centre. Dupria for Stain. To throw Stian Kump used as the battering ram and partially turned in the tackle. Managed to place the ball though. Error from Stechman. Regained his composure well. Now Stein. Cut out for Ulithia. He has a chance for the Bulls early on. Kirchner through the half gap. And Mungani on the switch. Bulls into the Chiefs 22, but the defence watchful. Stein. Plenty over on the left for the Bulls as Gathro Stienkamp takes it up. Dupria. Stein. A little dark from the fly half. Big tackle from Clark. Victorious. Through the tackle of Callum Bruce, the Chiefs piling in. The clean out for Derek Keane now, the Bulls, phase number nine. Protecting the ball beautifully in contact, Stain takes on the tackle of uh, Dwayne Sweeney. Push back. Spies took a very flat ball when it was forward. Well, forward pass, but going through the phases and certainly testing the Chiefs defence, standing up to it at the moment. But Bob Skinstead, how long can they defend like this? Cheapest job of attention is palpable in both sides. You could cut the atmosphere with a knife. I think at the moment, that both, both sides are just playing the survival game. I've seen a lot of heads already dropping and heaving chests. It's a, it's a serious melee out there. Laney Stratum, the Bulls manager, off his feet. Now, there is the first line at the set piece. Well, I think it's defined as the gain line. The starting gain line would be the best way to describe it. And of course, the Chiefs putting the ball into the scramble. More than likely from this position, kick it. Bulls will get it, where will they bring it back to? That's the big question. The other question is, will Stephen Donald kick it out? I'm not sure sometimes against the Bulls team, you, you kick it out, you're just really surrendering the ball. You might want to push them back a little bit and try and force St. Kirshen to run from deep. Came back to the Bulls, but 
Jonathan Kaplan will have that scrum reset. Some early pressure on the chief scrum. Tensions mounting between the two front rows. <laughs> Devil Pocket are getting involved as well. well. Watch this for a couple of hands in the scrum there from both flankers. Front row waits the Chiefs fractionally heavier. Probably the difference in Derek Kuhn and Aled de Malmanche, really. Derek Keen, of course, a converted loose forward. That's where he played for the South African under-21 team as the vice-captain. And has made the transition to hooker quite remarkably. The three members of this Bulls front row have all played all 14 games in this year's campaign. Fine, <laughs> straight up, looking as stressed as ever. It's a clever kick from Donald, hugging the touchline, trying to reduce the angle for the Bulls. And Kirshner will return it and find a safe touch. Well, we don't often chat about the kicking game of Zane Kirshner. We chat about the kicking game of Fareed Dupree and Mourno Stone. But Zane Kirshner at the back there this season has been a great decision maker, most importantly. And then a very, very good kicker of the ball. Scrum going down, going, uh, the decision going in the way of the Chiefs. Free kick, of course. This will be the last game where we play these ELVs. Alad de Malmarsh, first opportunity for him to feed the line out. It's a good take from Clark. Awkward ball from Moreland. Donald. A little bit static, not quite fluent there. More and again, a bit of a loopy pass. Donald will once again test Kirshner as Masanga gives chase. Just perhaps a fraction too deep and Kirshner returns the compliment. Donald is positioned, but he's got no one back to help him. Gets away from the tackle of Kirshner though. Now he can link. Oh, and away goes Masanga. What a start for the Chiefs at Loftus. Lelia Masanga goes in under the post and silences the Loftus faithful. Well, you can hear a pin drop right now. Stephen Donald, renowned for his ability as a kicking flyer for controlling flyer for this started an unbelievably good counter-attack. Around the outside of St. Kirchner he went. Set up the try for this man, Masanga. And what a start it is for the Chiefs. Little step and goes St. Kirchner, didn't expect that. Round St. Kirchner he went. Ankle tap not effective. A banner stood up in defense. Masanga got away from Matfield and Warner Stone thought Matfield had him and just left him. Seven points to nil, surely. Fifth try of the season for Lelia Masanga. His 21st in Super Rugby. And this should be a formality for Stephen Donald. He's already got more than 600 points in Super Rugby. That takes his tally for this season to 136. And that tells a story. Well, I don't think Zane Kirshner was quite expecting that. Bulls really didn't defend well from there. Matfield couldn't get there to the pace man. Mourno Stane assumed that Matfield had him. And it's an assumption he'll regret. So the Chiefs having spent most of the first seven or eight minutes in their own half come away with the first score. Lawaki almost had a foot in touch, intercepted by Mungani. Derek Keane. Excellent control in contact from the Bulls. Look out for Stain. Oh, and through this kick step. What a beat. Why didn't he go outside? Bulls have an advantage, but they will know that an opportunity went to begging there. And for Edith Brewer takes a quick in the back! What a way to hit back! The Springbok scrum half has been in outstanding form the past few weeks. He sniffed the opportunity. And ever alert he is. A little tap and go, but it came from this break. Good hands. And look at this for a good running angle from Kirshner. Stepped inside, go outside. He didn't, he stepped inside. The tackle was made, and Fareed Dupree ever alert. The little tap and go. Straight through the tackle of Jays McGugan. And the Bulls are right back there at level pegging. Bob's can stand, that's the perfect repost. It couldn't be better, Joel. The emotional roller coaster that is the Super 14 carries on as Morno Stone puts the kick over. The Chiefs were high fiving on the halfway line a minute and a half ago, and now they're trying to regroup under their own poles as they've got to go and kick the ball back to a resurgent Bulls side. And resurgent courtesy of that try from Fareed Dupree. And oh boy, do the fans love it. <laughs> well, Vady Stratum loves it too, as does Pedri Vandenberg. Bob Skinstadt described it as an emotional roller coaster. It has been for the fans as well. Mungani for Stain. They've done well to cut down his angle, and Fareed Dupree was hurried in his kick in the end. Oh, almost looked a little bit panicky there for a second from the Bulls. We've not seen them panic at all this season. First pass into Mourno Stain was very, very slow from Ndingoni. He just panicked and sent it back to Fareed Dupree. Possession at the moment, favouring the Bulls big time. 
Well, they have kept the ball well through the phases. They protected it well in contact to try very much against the run of play. And Drew doesn't shoddy follow him up to the kick. Line out one against the throw, staying with a good little step through the tackle. And a well judged kick as well. Sweeney has to go a long way back, and Bugani gets chase. Excellent work from Dwayne Sweeney. He did all the hard work. He had plenty of men out on the right to link with. Now the Chiefs run from deep again. This is Jamal Mosh. Away in the tackle. He looks as though he's hurt as well. And away goes for Ian Pryor. It's a race for the line to Pryor against Willie Aina. And to Pryor has tried number two. Inside a couple of minutes. Bobby Skinsett called it the emotional roller coaster. A roller coaster it is. And it's Demel Mont. Oh, it's gone down hard. Hope he's okay. Ran on Olaf there with a fling tackle, head into the ground. The ball spilled. When I stayed, popped it up the tackle, and Farid Dupree showing enormous pace. Big toe for the scrum off. Really, Aina couldn't help. What a start. What a final. Uh, Joel, unfortunately, you were right there, my friend. They're, they're really, there was a bone-crunching hit there on uh, Alec Domal Munch. And, uh, he went down with a sickening study. He, he looks like he's okay, but I think they're going to they're gonna stretch him off. That's the end of the game for the, for the boisterous hooker. He's, he's trying to get up, and he's pushing all the, uh, the guys around him away from him. But uh, I suppose he just wants to be part of this big occasion. Well, they stay with the conversion attempt. Straight through the middle. Well, that's a great kick on the Bulls bench. Absolutely delighted with the form, as are the fans. Thanks to Mel Marge, Hello to Mel Marge. Down he goes. He's not moving when you see it that way. Bruno Stain reacted quickly. Yes, to Farid Dupree. Try number two for the Bulls. Try number two for the box scrum off. Absolute delight on the Bulls bench. Alan de Melmanch still receiving some attention. As you said, he just wants to be part of this occasion, but the medical staff are going to have the final say. Well, he's got a bit of blood there by the look of things, which will give him 10 or 12 minutes to recover a little bit if he is capable of coming back. And there's no doubt that the medical team will not allow our player who is concussed, who has a problem, to go back onto the park. Ike Elliott, a man with a lot of experience and a lot of talent, will get on now. Whether it's permanent or not, time will tell. That is Ike Elliott. Donald gets the restart away and Macfield launches himself high into the air. Tokita just consolidated the possession. Pinpoint pass from Dupree for Stain. Willie Aina does love to counter from deep. Dupree underneath the high ball, ducks underneath the tackle of Donald. The banner in the scrum half position. So the kind of kick that Mourne Stein wanted, but it's going for him at the moment. <laughs> well, they well have gone for him right up one of his forwards, I think. Kept it low, probably too low, certainly lower than he expected. Could easily have been charged down. Like a low volley. So first throw for Hiker Elliott. Huge role for him to play in this final now. Down from Messam. Lawaki in midfield. Now Muliaina. Got it away for Sweeney. Sweeney did well, he had very little angle there. Just came in field a fraction. Donald Nasanga looking for work from the right wing, but driven back hard in the tackle. Trying to pick some space amongst the forwards. The Chiefs will keep the ball in hand now. Tanner Latima. Advantage to the balls, and Bucky Sporter is burrowing in there. Here's Matfield now. Farida Pia. Puts it in the tight two for Hunter. Third try for the Bulls. Sensational. Now holds the record for the most tries by a South African in the Super 14 or Super Rugby 56. Overtaking. Great and Pulsar, I think it is. And the crowd loving every second of it. What a start to our Super 14 final. Chiefs had it, carried it into the tackle. Dion Stachman, as good as he's been all season, he's made another great steal. And the vision of Victor Matfield, look at this, sucked into one of the players. A little grubber through, a banner in behind, no chance of stopping him. Pace, 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 and far too much gas.
Turnover ball, so difficult to defend from. Well, you're right, Joel, it is Brayton Pulse's record, and I know Brayton will be watching this and not begrudging Brian Habana that record for one instant. Two great servants of South African rugby on the wing. Stayed from the touchline, watching it closely. Oh, he's on song again. Well, what a time for Brian Habana. Box can step. You can see the Chiefs a bit closer than we can under the poles. Are those heads up? Were they down? Are they beaten yet? No, certainly not beaten yet, Joel. I tell you, Del Sethman really put his body on the line. He's twisted over his ankle. He's got a heavy bandage on it there. And they were stealing the ball that led to this. The man with jet shoes, just too quick for the Chiefs in the corner. But Lugani just inside the field of play, inside his 22, support for Toki Stay with plenty of time, thanks to that slick service from Farida Prayer. Mulyaina. Wants Lawaki to do something. The Bulls crowd will give him a big cheer all evening, I suspect. Stay back, stay back, stay back. Another drive forward from Tamalolo. The Bulls off their feet, conceding. The free kick in Tonde Balfour there, an interested spectator. The tackle again from Tokita. Wallen, Donald, Lawaki in midfield and showing some good handling skill. Bruce. Wallen cuts out the forwards to get it for Donald. And now Kahui. Oh. Yeah, a play from the Chiefs, realising that Deon Stiakman was out on the wing. He's limping horribly. I fear he might not be able to go on. They had a run at him, but still up to it and assisted by Brian Abana. So Dion Stiakman looks as though he will come off after this play as Pippi Weinberg. Makes ready on the side of the field. Right there. Banner trying to steal a couple of meters around the edge of that ruck to peer back for Stain. Launches a huge kick. Aina initially inside his 22. Stain has made the call here. Have a banner in support. The Chiefs there in numbers and Effect the steal. Olivia with the toe through. Looks like there might have been a couple of handling errors in there, but Jonathan Kaplan says play on. Now Kahui. Oh, and Bruce on the inside. Crucial hand in there from Pokita. Spice. Air of expectation amongst the crowd whenever he gets his hands on the ball. Back it comes for Stain. And Masanga. Plenty of space to uh, work up ahead of steam, but there's a wall of blue defenders in front of him. Moreland with a clever little pass inside of Kahui. Kirshner with an ankle tap, but still the Chiefs come. Derek Keane is back, so is Matfield. To peer back for Stain, surely he'll seek the solace of touch now. Frenetic period of play. Well, both teams making their way back to the line out very slowly indeed. Fast, frenetic. Jonathan Kaplan. Oh, takes a massive tackle. <laughs> Look at this. Boom! That's what happens when you stand in the way. Kahui, though, picking the gap and doing it well. Pepe Vandenberg on the most capped Bulls player of all time. It's his 98th Super Rugby appearance. Probably not what the Bulls have wanted really, Vandenberg a last 15-20 minute specialist and Stachman the man who really fights for the ball at the breakdown. Elliot to the tail of the line, it's untidy ball and it's touched away by Tokita. Good tackle from Callum Bruce. But the Chiefs going off their feet, conceding the free kick. He's just that kind of player, Diego Tokita, he's always in the opposition face. Goes about his business a little bit unnoticed sometimes, but already this evening two very important touches, one there and one earlier where he saved a certain try. Mornay Stein has launched that into the heavens. No one can claim it, Bucky's Puerto went up to win it with the tap and burn it here. Here come the balls again, Spies takes two to bring him down. Quick ball forward to prayer, Ulufia. Look at the just perhaps a fraction too close to be able to take the pass. Oh, back in the pocket for Stein, drop goal attempt, he takes, it's over! He is a machine. He just doesn't miss. 
four last weekend against a fellow New Zealand team, the Crusaders. One already this evening, it just extends the Bulls lead. I was about to comment though, every time the Bulls get down into the Chiefs territory, they come away with points. And then Mornay State steps into the pocket and takes three more. Drop goal number 11 for Mornay State in this season. That's a Super 14 record. It was a record before this game kicked off. Matfield with the restart, just a quarter of the game, just over a quarter of the game gone. The Bulls with 24, beautiful step from Umlingani. Keen the first to arrive in support. Six out! Let it come! Let it come! Chief slowing this ball down, getting direction from Jonathan Catton. Staying deep on to Muliaina. They will throw caution to the wind now, will the Chiefs? Will Yaini will try and run everything back at the Bulls, but he's been turned in the tackle this time. McGugan trying to rescue the situation for the Chiefs. Oh, Bucky's daughter got a big knock in there on James McGugan. Bob Skinstack, you had a pretty good view of that. Yeah, if I was in a, on a, in a flat, it would be right on my balcony, Matt. It's uh, pretty intense here, but Pedri Vanenberg le leant over and stole that ball with the assistance of Derek Keane. The guys have been playing some, some good hand-in-hand -hand, uh, combat-style rugby in, in the close quarters, and the Chiefs are starting to feel it. But I'm amazed by the fact that the Bulls have decided not to kick the ball off. Maybe they're letting the Chiefs run all the gas straight back at them in the first half. Bob, just looking at the, some of the players down there needing attention, it's like a war zone. Joel, you're 100% right. You know, almost everybody's gone back and had a... Uh, uh, a water break, a chat. In fact, they've just reversed this penalty and I'll, I'll try and find out what that's about. Well, I think, Bob, it's uh, that off-the-ball charge from Bucky's Twitter. No arms involved at all on James McGugan. Oh, not the best kick that Stephen Donald's ever kicked. Bucky's Twitter would be grateful it's not a good kick. No. That's what the penalty was reversed for. Curvis Vessels put out his flag almost immediately. Stolen away by Bucky's Buerta. Awkward run for Mbungani though. Latimer poached the possession. But it was a little knock from the Chiefs. Well, it's always difficult at the line out time against the Bulls. It's Bucky's who's got up and won two now away from the Chiefs. But the tap ball a little bit hard to hold. Possession stakes the Bulls 65%. It's no wonder they lead on the scoreboard by 24 points to 7. Tackles made as you'd expect. The Chiefs have had to make a lot more tackles. France Ludica will be very concerned about that Bulls man. Missed tackle stat though, that is very, Touch. very high indeed. <laughs> no binding from uh, Sono Tamalolo on the loose head side for the Chiefs. Up against Werner Kreer. Mune Stein spots a little bit of space, but Muliaina read it superbly. He had a lot of ground to make to gather that ball, and he's worked up some good steam here. Kahui, a loose pass for Elliot. Big tackle on Kevin O'Neill. There's extra men here for the Chiefs if they can straighten. McGugan oh, oh, trying Bucky's to take on Bucky's glitter again. Great tackle. Moreland for Elliott and he's driven back by Spies. They are flying into these tackles of the Bulls. Callum Bruce. Roll, get roll. A quick clean out from the Chiefs and Moreland was a little slow to arrive. Lawaki with no space to work up any momentum. Roll one. Roll one. Prefers to get the ball. On the fly, Morland, Donald, Masanga upended by Habana, and he thought he got away. Well, the one thing that has stood out about the Bulls' defence is that it has been very, very composed. Every now and then they've looked like numbers on the outside, or a bit of space in midfield, and then another big hit like this comes in, and that is a big hit. Vena Kriya, what a tackle it is! Vena Nulafia followed it up immediately, put him down very gently indeed. Fortunately. Free kick it is to the Chiefs, they've taken the scrum, big open side to the left hand side, slightly smaller open side to the right. And of course if they get the right shoulder up then, no doubt the hockey will pick and go to the right away from Free Dupree side. The atmosphere, the sense of occasion inside Loftus Festfeld Stadium is something quite staggering. After seven minutes, you could hear a whisper as the Chiefs scored. Now the crowd in full voice. Bulls competing superbly at the breakdown and at the tackle. 
Just okay. getting numbers to the breakdown, and the banner takes it quickly. Gets it away. Beautiful pickup from Keane. Oh, seven! Still cut for Pedri Vandenberg. Ghosted pass, Toby Morland. Seven, the Bulls just seven. protecting the ball better than their opponents in contact at the moment. Spice ran at a half gap, which quickly closed up on him. Dupriya, Vandenberg. A little bit upright, but still getting the go forward. It is available for Farid Dupriya. Stain looks for Mbengadi on the inside, but Messam was waiting. They've got another quick ball here, but knocked out of the hands of Farid Dupriya, and that'll be a penalty straight in front of the post. Deliberate. Interference with the halfback. Malaki pointed out as the guilty party. Pretty sure Mone Stan will just pop the save and take the easy three and really start to take this game away from the Chiefs. Offside is the call out. Three to three. Trying to move that quickly. And a little innocuous hand up from Laoki. Yeah, his little finger was offside. Three from three so far. Two difficult ones. One from each corner. One from in front and the drop goal. First penalty over she goes. And the drop goal to go with it as well. So 12 points already for Mono Stain, starting this game with 172, leading point scorer for the season. Well, because it's the opponents 22, six for the Bulls, two for the Chiefs, the six have got three tries, a drop goal, and a penalty to show for those visits. Very good statistic for them. Matfield again so solid under the restart. for Stain. And he won't mind kicking it out because every time the Bulls kick the ball out they've got a chance of winning it back at the line-out. Bob Skinstead, that line-out's in front of you. Surely the Chiefs are going to be under pressure. <laughs> they are under a bit of pressure here. More so for the cheerleading goals who just got hit by the ball coming through but that. I'll be less worried about that I think the players on the field. Stop watching the goals Bob. Donald for Lawaki. Touch it here again. It's got a bit of that mongrel. That Ooh, almost an interception for Brian Abena. Yeah, you know, I was just going to say, Joel, just always in the opposition face, trying to make the tackle, steal the ball, just everywhere. He is, and he's abrasive. He's a tall guy. He's not the most powerfully built guy you've ever seen. He gets in the face. He's strong and powerful. Abena, oh, intercept king, a very important little touch that as well. He missed that. He was skinned on the outside. Just past the half hour, Dilla Pochita. An outstanding form and uh, his 14th game of the season, he's only missed one. We spoke earlier, Joel, about the consistency in this Bulls team. So many of the players have played 13 or 14 games this season. They haven't been hampered by injury. And 14 of this Bulls squad of 22 played in the 2007 final. So consistency and experience, very hard to beat. Kahui now with a cutout ball for his skipper, Muliaina. He just lost some momentum as he had to juggle and Yako Pretorius was able to wrap his arms around the ball in the tackle. Good clean out though from the Chiefs, Donald. Messam in midfield, links with Kahui. Kahui looks dangerous. Now Donald again. And McGugan. Wills Maliaina needing a bit of attention down this side. Well, the Chiefs need something here. As you mentioned earlier, every time the Bulls have got to the 22, they've put points on the board, whether via a penalty, a drop goal, or those three fabulous tries so far. Latimer. Now Messam. Taken towards, touched by the Bulls' defence. Very well done in keeping it in. And the drive from Tamalolo comes to an end in touch. Well, good passage of play, just a little close to the touchline there. First it was Messam who looked to have crossed the touchline, and then Tamalolo allowed himself to get awfully close and then tackled into touch. The most pressure that the Bulls line-out has been under at any point in this game. So many options, especially with Pepe Vandenberg on now as well. Jivel put it at the front as well. It goes over Bucky's daughter for Pepe Vandenberg. Not sure if that was the intent. Miss him not rolling away. Certainly not the intent. A little fortunate. Pepe Vandenberg awake at the back. Snatched it very quickly and got to go forward. 
been a tough afternoon so far for Liam Messam. A little bit of blood around his eye there. He's had to swap jerseys already and now been penalised. Boom goes the fading touch finder. And a good one it is. Well, the Bulls have conceded seven, the Chiefs five in total. This is where the Chiefs' last one came. Must have made the tackle. Hang on, try to uh, ensure that Matt, that Funenberg couldn't place the ball backwards. Not rolling away the call. Nawaki with a little offload in midfield. It was quick ball for the Chiefs. Kahui on the switch to Masanga. Those two really are the danger man in the three-quarter division. Another advantage, seven from the side. Advantage being played here as Latimer takes it up for the Chiefs. That is the gain line in picture there as the Chiefs take it up again and Lawaki is caught behind that line. Moreland to upload for Nagugan. Well, that was an offside advantage being played by Jonathan Kaplan. A little bit static from the Chiefs. Sanga showing great leg power actually. Man known for his pace, not so much for his strength. He showed some good strength carrying out forward. Port of the man who's given away the penalty. Coming in from the side was the call from Jonathan Kaplan. Willie Aina says, let's have the shot at goal, let's get three points back and let's just settle this game down a bit. So Stephen Donald has been called up to take a shot at goal. They just want to get something on the board with just over five minutes to play in the first half. Absolutely shell-shocked by those opening three tries from the Bulls. Having scored the first try of the game, the Chiefs... I was still last week in the semi-final, a seven or eight minute blitz from the Bulls from the third, 33rd minute to the 40th minute and we've seen exactly the same as this evening, three tries in the space of six minutes, the difference in this game. Donald watches it closely and it's away to the right to the uprights. Well as he hit it he started leaning to the right and the Bulls fans are loving the fact that he's missed. They are loving the occasion as well. If it carries on like this, they're going to have to bring the brandy in in beer trucks. Good hanging restart from Mornay Stein. And Derek Keane has made a burst up the left flank. Messam is the only one back for the Chiefs and the bounce of the ball. Everything going for the balls. Well, Derek Keane very quick to pounce. Habana was the man who chased again. It was an error from kickoff time by the Chiefs, misjudging it, maybe the altitude having a little influence there, the ball flying right over the forwards, and missed at the back, Banner, Keane very quick to pounce. Oh, pressure now on this man, Luka Elliott. Burton went up, so did Matt Fields. Good again, no dummy jump in the front, okay, no dummy jump in the front, potentially a free kick, let's go again. Well, I started saying pressure on this man, he's been on since the 13th minute, he'll be, uh, Awfully unhappy that he's got one right and that he's got to do it again. Where will the Chiefs go now? The Bulls will compete everywhere. Dwetter goes out. Did that come off Elliot's hand? I think it did. Scrum to the Bulls, five metres out. Is it number seven to the 22? Will it be the sixth set of points? Certainly a little knock on there from Elliot. Competing well, getting the applause from the bench. Donnie Rousseau. Looking rather happy with things at the moment, handling error 7 from the Chiefs, only 5 from the Bulls. That difference really, if you consider the amount of possession the Bulls have had, those 7 errors really the result of some big pressure from Victor Matfield and team. Another fabulous attacking platform this for the Bulls. Awkward ball for Farid Upea, took the responsibility himself. And the Bulls off their feet in trying to secure that ball, it all went wrong at the scrum though. Not the best scrum we've ever seen, Bob Skinstad. No, it certainly wasn't, Joel. It looks like the guys are, are uh, chatting as they run back there. I think um, that the, the, the Chiefs just got their hit on them, and, and resultantly, old uh, Farid Dupree had a very loose ball to deal with, and Lana Masanga showing that strength you spoke about, just pushed him off um, a ball where he was trying to place it back for his forwards and create an attacking platform. Farid Dupree looking as dangerous as ever, linking well with backs and forwards, and there's one man who won't be happy, Dion Staffman, injured his ankle in the, at the 18th minute and soldiered on until the 20th. Now, on the sideline. Keen to the front of the line-out. Tokida not often used as a line-out jumper. Farida Prius kept charged down by Tamalolo. Bulls would hate to concede points now at this late in the first half. But they're going to have some defending to do now. This is Kahui. 
Very clever appreciation of the law there. He was held in the tackle. He let the ball go before getting back to his feet. Hike Elliott. Malaki is positioned to make a charge here. But he was the dummy runner. Now Masanga. Derek Keane hung on grimly in the tackle. Somewhat isolated. He's done well to keep the ball. Muli Aina coming up into the first receiver position. There's no one home here for the Chiefs if there's a turnover. Donald. Lawaki will take on Stain. Now Messam. Tokida again involved in the defensive effort for the Bulls there. Sweeney. And they're just not making any headway. The defense is so aggressive. Lawaki. Beautiful hands. Oh! You don't want to tempt fate, but gee, it's a long way back for the Chiefs from here. Well, if they are to come back, they will have been there cool enough climbing Mount Everest. It is a long way back now, courtesy of this. Brian Abana, ever alert, the king of intercepts, read it superbly. Once he had ball in hand, it was never a race. Easy run in, early celebration, probably game over. 34 points to 7, surely after the conversion at the break I'm not sure any team can come back from this and if you consider everyone was concerned about the Chiefs lasting the last 20 minutes based on the travel and the altitude the conversion goes over 34 points to 7 great first half from the Bulls well the forecast temperature in Pretoria tonight is 1 degree Celsius I can assure you if this carries on in the second half or even if it doesn't from here on in there will be a warm atmosphere here all night Pulses, South African Super 14 scoring record and the second taking him to try number 37. Djeval Pochita has had a very busy first half for the Bulls. And the Chiefs looking to gain some early momentum in the second half. You feel they absolutely have to score first. Was there some obstruction there? No, says Jonathan Kaplan. And lost forward by the Chiefs, a banner. Guthrow Stienkamp steps through the first tackle. Commanding team performance, everybody has played their part. In an emphatic first half performance by the home side. Kahui has showed some magical touches. Now he puts it up for Muliaina to chase. Stain made the call early. Vantage entry. Entry. And the Chiefs will have an opportunity drive, with a penalty. From the side. But this many points behind, surely they've got to go. Which they do. Lawaki. A tackle from Dupreer. Bull's defense on Lawaki has been superb this evening. I've gone low and hard and got him to ground very quickly each time. Which has allowed the likes of Keane to get in there and steal the ball. And Farid Dupreer spotted that there was no one home for the Chiefs. Liam Messam has to go all the way back. Muli Aina is falling back in support. And no real option but to kick for touch, but it wouldn't have been his best. Well, I wouldn't quite say it was a resignation type kick. But the bench of the Chiefs might be thinking that you know, significantly that the choice to not counter-attack and just kick it out may well be what's in their minds. Don't come down. Keen over the top of Vandenberg. Bounces loose for the Bulls. Bounced well for Mornay Stein, but there was a little knock-on in that line-out. Not a happy place to be, the Chiefs bench at the moment. Line-outs have been tightly contested by both sides. Just a little knock there from Pepe Vandenberg. The Bulls have pinched three off the Chiefs' throw. Moreland for Donald. Kahui. Again upended by Pochita. But a quick clean out from the Chiefs. Muliaina had Masanga inside and Messam. But now Pretorius gets the kick away. Matfield follows up well. Kirshner, beautiful pass for Olivia. And another beauty to Priya Keen. To Priya again for Stienkamp. A little bit isolated. Chiefs over the ball. Advantage for them. Keen 
Slung to the ground. But offside from the Chiefs. Quick tap and go from Farida Pia. The offload for Keane. Chiefs went back 10. Now staying for Macfield. Kessler! Kessler with a little shot of the ball! Morland takes it quickly, he slices the kick on the on side of his boot. Kirshner just inches away. Well, I wonder if Matfield isn't the one he should have thrown the dummy there. It seemed a little bit more space in his channel than in Kirshner's. Look at this. The defence very quick to get across, and that was yeah, Messer who got across there in the number 23 shirt and made the tackle. But once again, it is the Bulls trying to score tries instead of kicking the goals and really trying to put this Chiefs team to the sword. Matfield with the tap down, bounces nicely for Dupree, staying. Finally a turnover oh. going the way of the Chiefs. McGugan with the handoff of Spies. Backwards. Bull's defense has just been so aggressive. And now the Chiefs do get away through Latimer. Morland. Now Hika Elliott in midfield brushes off Mornay State. Donald for Masanga who got away from the first tackle but Farida Prayer hang on Morland Taumalolo Magugan was the support player oh, there wow. to make the clean out this is better from the Chiefs and Muliaina with the juggle Mills Muliaina that's a wonderful score from a turnover deep inside the Bulls half the Chiefs have carried it through the phases it's the two props who look good ball in hand Taumalolo making a good run Finally into the hands of Muliaina, the little juggle which may well have been a bit off-putting. But once he gets a bit of momentum, it's just a little pop inside off his off the defender, stepped around Kirshner and the acceleration sublime. His fourth try of the season. And his 28th in Super Rugby. It was a beautiful angle that he ran. And great communication with Stephen Donald as well. They certainly are not gonna lie down here, the Chiefs. They've got a glimmer of hope. Conversion popped over already by Stephen Donald. So still plenty of ground to make up, 20 points. If you're looking for positives for the Chiefs, it's back within three converted tries. Morland recovers well from the initial drop ball. Laaki, just perhaps getting a glimpse of the hope that exists for the Chiefs. And Kahui who has been excellent carries it on now Muliaina just a new spring in the step of the Chiefs here Thomas Messels has got his flag up on the far side not sure what he's seen, we didn't see too much hey, chasing the kick, three wide stepped in front of him which holded him off the ball okay, where's the mark? Okay. and just the penalty? Yeah. So the call is going to get, be against James McGugan. And it's going to be a penalty for foul play. Well, it's going to be a penalty for obstruction. McGugan shaking his head. He's not convinced about the decision. And not surprisingly, straight away, the Bulls points, point to the posts. They want to get more than 21 in front once again. points in last weekend semi-final against the Crusaders four of those drop goals kicking a vital part of the game just keep that scoreboard rolling over demoralizing for the opposition oh. well wow. an upset for me did put an arm out but it didn't really look that influential, Mornay Stein is influential though, raises the flags once again, a flawless kicking performance, Bob Skinstead, the mood down there must be astonishing. Matt, it certainly is, it's amazing, the crowd are all already celebrating, but the full side look very hard and very focused here, I think they realise that they cannot do anything but continue to drive the nails into the coffin. Whoa, whoa. Going for the short restart as well, they really are lifting the intensity now, the Chiefs, McGugan. 
Ball looping over the top and it's a penalty. Straight out in front of the posts. McGugan been quite prominent there and a little bit of, well, would probably be termed lazy running from Pedri Manenberg, but couldn't get his head out of the way, to be honest. Very tough decision now, Mills Muliaina. Does he kick for goal? Does he run? Pop gets that as a, as a captain. What would you be thinking? Joel, at the moment, I'll, I'll be honest, there's a million thoughts going through his head. I'm, I'll be interested to see if he doesn't kick for goal. There's still enough time. I think he's signaling the, uh, the scrum because I can see the forwards getting together. But you've got to remember the Chiefs came back in a very similar situation uh, like this against the Lions. I know the Lions haven't played the same kind of rugby the Bulls have this year, but uh, they'll be trying to draw on that as inspiration. Touch. Touch. Delirious oh, support around the stadium. The strains of marching to Pretoria ringing out from the crowd. Lawaki picks up at the base. Oh, four. Nesson for Latimer. Oh, First in, come trying to wrap his arms around that ball in the tackle what is out? Moreland for Hika Elliott making good ground here over the gain line of the Chiefs squirts out of the back of the rack Tamalolo roll here roll and a good quick clean out as well McGugan these two young prop forwards who've done great work for the Chiefs this year both making their Super 14 debuts this year Lawaki well watched by Matfield on defence well watched by the whole Bulls team this afternoon uh, his effect has been nullified by the aggressive defence and on this occasion as well. Yet another turnover. Kirshner's kick will be fielded by Lelia Masanga who opened the scoring for the Chiefs early on in this game. Kirshner and Tokida with the double tackle. Kirshner working hard as well. In the second wave of defence. Play the advantage. Moreland Masanga at very close quarters. He is such a difficult player to bring down. Pretty low center of gravity and strong in the contact. Lawaki with support from Latimer. Donald, it's one-on-one uh, -on -one defense here, but Kahui generally good at unlocking that. Chiefs looking a little bit more patient in their build-up the now. I've gone through a number of phases a couple of times. But unable to break down the Bulls defense much too delight of the Bulls faithful well, once football, again Liaena you know, stuck with this decision as he kicked the goal the take the three reduce that scoreline to below the 21 points hope that they can score three tries or does he go for the tries first it's like a very slippery indeed and very quick when he gets a bit of space doesn't waste any time in this kicking either Stephen Donald two from three missed the one penalty we've taken a prudent view haven't they but didn't kick the previous one for posts but we've got to get something from these visits down to Bulls territory we've got to keep the scoreboard ticking with still just under half an hour to go Pocita remains a thorn in the side of the Chiefs as Derek Keane comes off having put in an excellent 50 minutes or so Chili Boy Ralapella on in his place both those hookers have played in all 14 of the Bulls games before tonight this season great to have that consistency of selection available to France Lidica now Pierre Spice with a bit of space we saw what he did against the Crusaders last week with that kind of space no 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 it's him on all right and Latimer was called off the ball to Pierre with the quick take Chili Boy Ralapella straight into the action and Bucky Sporta continues the drive Stjernkamp looked as though Farida Prim might have been looking for staying deep in the pocket there changed their mind Pierce Peace uncharacteristically losing it forward in contact well it's been a confrontational game in the forwards Pierce Peace hasn't had much room to move and the ball ripped out of his arm by Stephen Donald what a game he had last week a little bit tighter today doesn't often get the credit he deserves for making the hard yards six carries got over the gain line only twice He's made three tackles and missed none, which is always a statistic a loose forward likes to see. What a great season for the big man. Well, okay, he's going to have to step up in this game if the Chiefs are to come back and compete and quite possibly win it. He's going to need to get over the gain line, get into a bit of space, offload out the tackle once or twice. And it's looked almost at today's once or twice this afternoon or this evening. 
tackles made, no most carries 15 and only got over the gain line four times. Off loads five, one better yardage gap than that. Great testament to the strength of the Bulls' defence this evening. Touch! Touch! Right there, off. Stian Kump just popping out of that scrum. This is a huge launch on to Kirshner. Chiefs bearing down. A couple of players back to help him. The tackle made by Latimer. Good protection of the ball from Kirshner. Oh, there's an extra man here for the Bulls. Olivia from Nungani. And Pretorius outside. Perhaps wisely took the contact, but Muliaina has grabbed it away. Got up onto his feet after making the tackle. Flat ball from Donald to Magugan. Moreland, much more rhythm now in the Chiefs play. Beautiful pass from Bruce for Sweeney. Messam looking around for some support. He got a little isolated. It's a strong ruck from Bucky Sputter. Great counter racking from the Bulls. Have they turned it over? Yes. Oh, Brian Van has been scragged there around the neck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we hope bad tempers don't Thank you. spoil the sense of occasion that we've had here so far this afternoon. Yeah, just hold. Just take away. And away. It was a bit of a shove on talk from Habana initially. And that's really what kicked it off, Brian Habana. Getting involved where he probably shouldn't. Yeah. Well, he advanced uh, the free kick an extra 10 metres. Brian Habana has a little bit of blood to have attended to. And Marius Delport, having started in last week's semi-final, in place of the injured... Vainard Olivier comes on. Toby Lynn on the field in place of Kevin O'Neill in the second row. Huge up and under from Mornay Stay, and that one's going to have ice on it when it comes down. And Ngani has grabbed it. Kriya. Driven back in the tackle. Good tackle from Toby Lynn, but Stain has it. Pretorius. Olivier. There's no advantage there, the Chiefs had players there in greater numbers, so they will come back for a free kick and surely the Bulls will scrum here. Or does Bucky's Buta want to have a go? Tap and go, Bucky's. Gee, he's got a good leg drive when he does carry the ball, he gets, gets over the game line, makes the high guards, but possibly doesn't carry it enough. Seven metres to travel now. Set move from the Bulls. Two little pods of forwards. Chili Boy will carry it up credit ground before the tackle, then it will come out to the next pass. Dupriya, there's the second pod. Dupriya, good hand, Stain. Pretoria straightens. It's a fierce contest at the breakdown. What for next one, the penalty for Lock? Lock is going to just carry Toby Ball out for about 10 metres there. And Jonathan Kaplan has issued a, an official warning to Mills Muliaina that the next breakdown offence will be a long arm penalty. Nice to see Laney Stratum on the Bulls bench looking a little relaxed. Normally at this point, Laney's biting his fingers to the knuckle. The hands! Well placed by Chili Boy Ralapella. Again, it's the two pods of forwards used. Stain, Olafia. Cut out pass for Krishna! And inside from Lungani. Driven back by the Chiefs. They had three men there in defence. And McField! Over the top of the ruck. Is that try number five? He thinks so. Long arm of the law. Victor Matfield stepped over the ruck. He's nodding. He thinks he scored. The crowd think he has. The smiles are out. One and a half fans on the trophy now for the Bulls. What a time to score your first try of the season. Just when everyone, including the Chiefs, expected Mornay staying to swing it out to the backs. There came the skipper. Extraordinary acrobatics.
just caught the defences napping. They were all lined up, waiting for the pass from Mornay Stain. Jonathan? Yeah. No reason why you cannot do what to try. So the Bulls have their fifth try by the captain, Victor Netfield. If this kick from Mornay Stein on, goes now. over the half-time lead, will have been more than restored with just a little over a quarter of the game to go. What a season it's been for this young man. Played in the shadow of Derek Hovart for so long here in Pretoria. And given the mantle of the number 10 shirt, has grabbed it and use the opportunity to its fullest. Oh, it's another fantastic strike to just off the left hand upright. Well, he is human after all. Good awareness. The Chiefs caught napping on the blind side. Bit of pain there as well. Couple of injuries. Bainey Stadium celebrates. As do the faithful blue. Chiefs quickly up on the restart, but Pedri Vandenberg was quick to pounce. And the turnover once again. Donnie Rousseau now on the field. Delport. Now Pretorius. Olivia. Happy to play down in Chiefs territory, but the Mungani gives chase. Bob Skinstad, is there a sense that it's almost job done? Man, I'll be honest, there are two sides here who are looking spent for a number of reasons. The main one is the Bulls have absolutely refused to kick out unless they've absolutely had to. And here's a, here's a good example of it. They were going for actually the ball up the middle of the field. Kirsten was doing the chase. They haven't kicked out because they've said to the Chiefs, if you want to score, you're going to have to do it from deep in your own half. And that's taxing for both teams. Oh, a steal from Pierce Peace. Yet another steal against the throw. Donnie was so carried it up for the Bulls. What a player to have on your bench. 36 test matches under his belt. This man, oh, yeah. Pepe Vandenberg's got 20 as well. Stain, Olafia, waves of attack from the Bulls. It's out for Torres! Oh, he dropped it. Oh, my choice, Bowman. Look at the Torres. Look at Chalani. He may well have dropped it. I think he knows he's dropped it. Fain and Olafia, how important is he in this team? Oh, no, Not yeah. only... A real control of the defensive structure and lines. Little break, pop pass inside. Lost forward, no time. Well, the air of disappointment Jonathan? for Jaco Pretorius yep. is palpable. Forward. Forward. Strong. Getting Strong lots of consolation from his teammates. Don't rush me, please. Don't rush the mark. Don't rush. You'd have to think with less than a quarter of the game to go that. It probably won't matter in the final analysis, but what a moment it would have been. Well, the Bulls have made a few changes already this afternoon. All up front, it's Wannenberg who was on very early for the injured Staffman. And then came the changes around the 60th minute, bringing on the fresh legs. And you were in the Chiefs camp just when it was as tough as it was, 40 points down. On comes the likes of Donny Rousseau, Reino Cab and Chili Boy. And still more to come. Interesting that neither of these teams have suffered too many severe injuries this season. And yet tonight, Alec de Malmont and Dion Stechman off very early in the game. Callum Bruce tries to run it out of his own territory. Moreland. Now Messon not able to hang on to a difficult pass. It was above his head. Well, I'm not sure that pass was meant for him. Gugan looking for someone on the outside, I think. Trying to move the ball quickly into space and some dejected faces on the bench there. Of the Chiefs. They've had a great season and there's absolutely every reason to keep their heads held up high. But a tough evening it's been here in Pretoria. Bob Skinstead, let's talk about the psychology for the Chiefs. So this time last week they would have seen the Crusaders 20 points to 7 ahead at Loftus and they would have thought we might be on our way to a home final here. Well, we've spoken about the, the emotional roller coaster, Matty, and the in, in, interesting thing here is uh, this Chiefs side are now ruining the fact that they, they were made to run everything by the Bulls. Fonte Ludic is probably punching the sky saying, I've worn them down. They're on the high felt here. They're really going to struggle to come back from this far behind now with, with only 20 minutes to go. And you can see there by the little mistakes that they're starting to make that the bodies are tired. You know, the, the minds are willing, but the flesh is weak. And we just saw a little montage of Faridi Bri. What a game he's had. What a season he's had. 
been such an integral part of this Bulls team as well as the Buck 15 and no doubt he'll be picked in that side or in that squad when it's announced later on the weekend. So Senia Nisi on in place of Dwayne Sweeney, the most experienced member of the bench for the Chiefs of 40 caps in Super Rugby to his name. Quick take from Piaspis. They are certainly not done the balls. They want the party to continue. They want 50. Now leave it, now leave it, leave it now. Dupria for Gathrostian Kamp. Over the gain line once again. Not Donny Rousseau. And even though he's met behind the gain line with a strong tackle, still getting the ball some go forward. Chili Boy Ranapella continues the surge. Support from the ever present Potkita, but spilt forward in the contact. Mulya Aina will counter. Morland spots that there's men and space out on the left. Nesson. And Donald with a little chip kick forward. Big tackle as he kicked it. Zan Kirshner committed as ever. Got in there, half charge down the kick. Stephen Donald, well, he's looking up and thinking, I'm definitely in a game here. Yeah. Oh, he's got a little bit of a knee onto his hip area, so one day he's a little bit sore. Bulls ball, shortened line out. Matt fell that scrum off. He's now, he's now stepped into the line. Farid appear from Matt Fields. Back it comes again for the prayer. Stain. Rocco Pretorius would so dearly love to make amends for that unforced error over the line. Pocky to hit hard in the tackle. Big That's tackle. a huge hit. From Serge Lilo. Here come the balls again. Kirshner straightens for Ndungani. Just the juggle made him lose his balance as the Mexican wave makes its way around Loftus Vestal. Two people touched. Nawaki closed down effectively this evening. Little lies off the ball there. Just the juggle just meant that Ndungani not in a position to take the tackle from Masanga. So the margin at the moment, 25 points in favour of the Bulls. The biggest margin in a Super Rugby final. You have to go back to 2001 when the Brumbies beat the Sharks by 36 to 6. Back in 1996 as well, the Blues beat the Sharks by 24 points, 45 points to 21. The Bulls could be chasing a record here. One more try and a conversion would do it. Dupria staying with a flat ball for Onifra. Straight to the middle of Nogani. Just couldn't take. Matches to what? Okay. Well, we've seen some great power and strength from the Bulls team. And now we've seen a bit of good goal. Faino Nulifia, what a little line he's, he's run. And the timing of the pass, the dummy run over Nogani. Not really looking for the ball. All of a sudden he got it, expecting it. Ndungani just couldn't hang on to the pass. Well, the Chiefs too have made changes so far in this game. On his coming, AC Nilo, Toby Lynn, Hicka Elliott unfortunately came on very early for the injured Alec de Malmarsh. <laughs> and for those of you who didn't realise, Pretoria and Loftus were that passionate. There's a, there's a skull. Big scrum from the Bulls. Despies <laughs> unable to gather, but no matter because it will be a turnover of possession nevertheless. He can see the funny side. Here. And you can see by the looks on the faces of the Bulls that they know this game is over, they know the game is won. It's not quite that they need to see out the last 14 or 15 minutes or so. And this is the camera in the crowd, sensing the atmosphere. The crowd relaxed at ease. They know that the trophy is coming here to Pretoria. The Bulls no doubt will win this game. Farida Prayer, instinctive and very quick off the mark. Donnie Rousseau with the drive up. <laughs> Brilliantly placing the ball here, staying. And on a fair. season for the Bulls, integral part of his team in defence and attack, sets up so much of their good play in the midfield and here he's been awarded a good run, spotted the gap, ran the outside arc and the defence not able to shift, painted Olympia in for try number six for the Bulls. Try number six for the Bulls and his sixth of the season. Well look at that, the outside line just uh, 
getting away from Callum Bruce and it wasn't so much on his tackle just the unrelenting pressure from the Bulls and the Chiefs not able to shift in time well spotted by Vane and Olivier and well finished so the margin is now 30 which equals the margin of the Brumbies against the Sharks back in 2001 Mornay Stein can goal this conversion and the score was to remain the same it would be a record victory in a Super Rugby final away they missed his last two off the kicking team pressure's gone maybe he likes the pressure the Bulls team who like the pressure good quick ball good spot to the outside gap from Olivia and over he goes 30 points the margin now tying the record of 2001 and if we had any doubts about the game being over 10 or so minutes ago it certainly is now and the Loftus faithful will sing their way home here Bob, the singing, the atmosphere is just, I suppose, almost indescribable down there. <laughs> Tom, the words escape me. Uh, to be honest, it's like being at a giant rock festival where uh, we're just waiting for, the, for the, the act beforehand to finish and for, for the main act to get onto the stage. The guys, are, the, the fans around me are, are so excited about the Bulls and what they've achieved so far this season and what they've achieved here tonight. And what about the atmosphere on the Bulls bench next year? There are lots of smiles at the moment and uh, they want to get some uh, game time as well. Well, I'm sure... Uh, Every last one of them will get some game time at some point as the clock winds down. Marius Delford, of course, has come on already for that blood injury. Dion Stefan, very disappointing for him to have to leave the field so early. Lovely moment for Heine Adams having replaced for Reed Ucrea, who was at his brilliant best with two tries in the space of a couple of minutes in direct response to the Chiefs opening salvo very much against the run of play in the seventh minute of this final they are walking and marching and running to Pretoria Annie Adams such a willing and able understudy to Farid Dupriya and that's just a fraction too far from Mornay Stein well, aside from one or two passes that have not been held which you expect in any game. I think that may well be the first mistake we've seen from the Bulls this evening. Kicks 11, passes 18, runs 4. He just gained, and that is the sign of a complete fly if he controls the game with his boot but gets the back line away, which is done superbly. Six tries for the Bulls this evening. Brilliant effort. Touched away again by the Bulls. Taken back. Adams passed it back into the 22. Masanga. Fokino wants to have a go, gets unceremoniously handed off. Good hands from Muliaina. Moreland. Toby Lin. Upended by Chili Boy. Difficult situation for Mike Delaney. Just not able to breach that gain line. The Bulls, such a proud defensive unit as much as they've scored six wonderful tries this evening. Hika Elliott, who's had far more work to do than he would have expected when the Chiefs arrived at Loftus earlier this afternoon. Delaney. Oh, and now Pierce Spies is away. Is this going to be try number seven? Cabana is chasing up in support. Spies wants to go the whole way and goes! Loftus erupts once again. Almost the length of the field. Well, questions around the offside line there, but maybe maybe the ball was out. Step forward. No doubt about the pace of the man. The strength, the power, and the finish. We saw him score one last week. And Pierre Spess, Brian Abana, and the Bulls have written themselves into the history books here this evening. Trying to move the ball around a little bit, playing for pride. He really surrendered the ball. Second intercept try tonight. And not a spectator is going to leave their seat. They will stay for this celebration long into the night. It'll be cold in temperature, but warm in every other way.
past the 50 the Bulls have gone and now Mornay staying he said he likes the pressure no real pressure but he put some on himself from the touchline oh that's better back on song Gilles Peace with his seventh try of the season yeah I think you're right there Joel <laughs> he got away with that but not one of the 50,000 inside Loftus cares it am Frustration boiling over down there, Bob. Yeah, there's lots, Joel. Like, as you can imagine, the Chiefs are very frustrated at the moment. They're frustrated in themselves and the performance, and they're frustrated that they just can't get ascendancy over these balls, either in the pack or in the backs. It's just been an amazing performance by the men in blue. I said earlier in the week I'm a converted Bulls fan. I think it's a justified decision here tonight. Agreed, agreed. Look at that. He just from Ben and Olivia. Another good evening for him. Can the Chiefs breach that line, that gain line? They found it so tough the whole evening due to a committed and resolute Bulls defence. Flat ball for Richard Kahu, he has never given up, slips the tackle of Delport but not the one of Pretorius. David Basin waits at the base of this ruck but again it's slow ball and really battled but for a couple of moments, a couple of short periods in the game to gain any kind of fluency and rhythm now it comes for Delaney he had two outside him but there were four Bulls defenders Basin Rob Blue. On the way through there taking on the might of the Bulls pack well, we chat about the crowd and the wave of blue this Bulls defense just comes at you wave after wave it's like the tide is always coming in Basin for Donald now one cut out pass and the center beautifully read by Brian Havana forced to play behind the gain line once again they may have taken it through six phases but not making much headway perhaps they will now through Donald Burton Francis it is his dive on it and great that some of these young Bulls players can get a taste of action Mornay staying his job is done Burton Francis what a great moment for him just his ninth appearance in Super Rugby his seventh of the season and a great moment for that man, what a servant he's been of South African and Bulls Rugby, his 94th appearance in Super Rugby this evening, to go along with 80 tests, just one shy of John Smith's Springbok record for a forward. And I have to say, Joel, Franz Ludica said earlier, it's going to be final rugby, not pretty rugby. <laughs> I think this has been pretty. <laughs> I think there's 50 odd thousand fans wearing blue who thought it's quite pretty too. If this is finals rugby, bring it on. Liam Messon has toiled throughout. Well, you've got to take your hat off to this Chiefs team. They've all toiled. They've all given their best. It's been a tough week for them. They've flown over from New Zealand. They've had to come to altitude to a, a frenzy of blue activity. Well, they're everything, but they've just unfortunately come up short. Just sums up the, the Chiefs' night tonight. They're perhaps their biggest scrum of the night. and The ball poached away by Pedri Vandenberg and driven back downfield again. Muliaina. He won't stop trying, but the Bulls have got another turnover. And perhaps the extra man, Pretorius with the kick ahead. The chase from Krasna. Carried over by Kahui. Oh dear. Well, a lone Chiefs fan. He just looked embarrassed when the camera got him. He needs a face cloth quickly. And Richard Kahui carrying over under pressure from Zane Kirshner. Well, the party will go on forever here in Pretoria this evening. The singing is reaching the highest volumes of the season. Bob Skinstad will be online after the game as well on supersport.com. Discussing this game, David Payson got the kick in there, but beautiful work from Heine Adams. Feisty little customer. And uh, definite offside there is Liam Messam. Foot up it was, yeah, from David Basson. Have a little foot up as well. 
We also reached that time of the game now where you start looking at Man of the Match awards. Been a number of candidates from the Bulls. Is there one left from the Bulls? Darnie Rousseau! It's just about as emphatic as it could ever be. And what a man to get the last say. His second try of the season is 89th Super Rugby match this evening. One of the great toilers. Oh, and once he got ball in hand, he knew only one way. So strong. And richly deserved for the service that he's given to this team. Uncomplaining, fits in wherever required. It'd be interesting to hear at the moment Bob Skinstad, you obviously are down there. It's at that time when we start looking at man of the ma man of the match. Who are the candidates? Cheap as Joe, you could uh, you could roll out a team sheet there, I think, on the Bulls side. But uh, Vanny Olafi, I'm, I'm glad for him to have such a great performance on the on his way back from injury. One I stand was at his best. Fury de Pere had his amazing best that we're looking forward to at the Springboks. And I thought Deval Potti to a specialist this evening. Burton Francis, can he get some points in a Super 14 final? Well, the crowd like it, he likes it, and so do the touch judges. Just seconds remain of this. What a delight for Burton Francis. Dear Val Tokida. There is the Hooter. And the final kick will be taken by Burton Francis, Victor Matfield can celebrate with just pause and with just reward. What an extraordinary performance from the eight-try Bulls team here at Loftus this evening. An absolute drubbing. The previous highest winning margin in a Super Rugby final was back in 2001. 30 points. And this is just quite extraordinary. The margin of victory, 44 points, 61 points to 17. Victor Matfield with Yaka Pretorius will be absolutely delighted.